Alright, listen, I wanted to make this quick video because honestly, there's nothing worse than taking a banger image you spent hours editing and then you export it, upload it to Instagram and then boom, it looks like shit. But I got you on that. I'm gonna walk you through the exact same export settings I use to make sure that my images stay crisp. I'll go step by step in the exact same order Lightroom shows it so you can literally follow along. Number one, export location. I choose same folder as original and tick put in subfolder and then Instagram exports. It just keeps things organized because then I have a subfolder in my original raw file folder so I know exactly where my edited images are. Number two, file naming. Sometimes I add a custom name like forest slide one, but I keep it simple. Because let's say I've shot four or five images here in the forest and I want to make a slide post on Instagram, I know exactly which one will be the first slide. Number three, video. This is not relevant because we're exporting images, so on to the next one. Number four, file settings. For the format, I use JPEG, color space, sRGB. Instagram only reads sRGB, not Adobe RGB or Profoto. If you export in the wrong color space, then your colors will look washed out. For the quality, 85 is my sweet spot and not 100. If I'm gonna pick out 100% quality, then Instagram has more to compress, so that means I'm gonna go with 85, less compression, looks a bit sharper. Number five, image sizing. Resize to fit, long edge, and then 2700 pixels for vertical 4x5. 2700 is Instagram's max display height, so I'm just gonna pick this one. For resolution, I'll go with 72 ppi, which means pixels per inch. Number six, output sharpening. I choose sharpen for screen and then the amount to standard. It's just because Instagram softens your image after the compression. So in order to have a bit more sharpness to it, I'm just gonna go screen and then normal. If your image looks really, really sharp, then you can go with low or just don't use it at all. Number seven, metadata or metadata. I really don't know how to pronounce this one. You can keep copyright only or strip everything. It doesn't affect the image quality at all. It's just a copyright issue. So you can use it or just leave it out. Number eight is watermarking. And this one is as well totally optional. If I want to have my logo in the lower left corner, for example, I can just add it, play with the opacity, with the size, and then I have my watermark in there. Number nine, post-processing. I set to show in Finder. I can just airdrop it with my Mac or if you have Windows, you can just send it to your Google Drive and then upload it ASAP. And that's basically it. If you want, you can save it as a preset, click on add, name it Instagram, for example, and you're ready to go. I know this was a quick one, but I hope it helped. And with that being said, keep creating and stay disciplined.